Once upon a time, in a land filled with scary trees with branches like webs of cob down yonder, I began to ponder what it would feel like to be a unicorn whose emotions are swirled together like bubblegum pink cotton candy or my Aunt Kathleen's hair on a humid day into a cylindrical party hat without strings or colorful designs, poking the air with the anguish of a thousand suns. Horse, mixed with an overturned ice cream cone of stone-cold alienation is what you are. I'm sure of it, like 98% sure. Almost as sure as the time when my first grade teacher asked me what two plus two was, and I told her four. Because I had it written on my hand when she had mentioned the answer in class earlier that day. But the marker was smudged, which is where the 2% comes from. So I can't say I'm positive. Maybe you're just a horse with an identity crisis. Maybe that's why you don't speak to anyone but those dew-soaked strands of grass dancing back and forth, forth and back, forth, forth, back, back, and forth again like tribal savages clutching their own midsummer night dreams in fields of rye-dyed green. Homo sapiens conjecture the validity of your existence, but I am cognizant of your occupancy on this luminous planetoid, masked by the herbs and valleys of liquid dihydrogen monoxide. Somewhere beyond the sunrise-induced sorbet-colored sky, I imagine your stripeless zebra fur, wild and untrimmed like Tarzan, flickering madly like wacky-waving inflatable arm-flailing tube men in zealous dog-day breeze. Somewhere beyond the sunrise-induced sorbet-colored sky, I imagine your zebra-less stir... Like Tarzan, flickering madly, like wacky-waving inflatable arm-flailing tube men in the zealous dog-day breeze. My senses? Clairvoyant. Ghost hunters, not for ghosts, but for knowledge, have slithered through the mounds of non-believers, like soap on a slip-and-slide sitting on a slanted hill, and have accepted your existence, evaded the world you have, avoided the vanilla twilight descending. Perhaps you are part vampire, shying away in a mystical forest palace from others who would stare with judgmental corneas, irises, retinas, pupils, layered optics, sunken into pockets of flesh. If this be so, unicorn, I've come to coax you into the light, because if what they say is true, the sun will make you sparkle. And everybody loves glitter.